Yeah, welcome once again, my friends, to our series on friendship this week. And these are excerpts from my book, Who is Your Friend? In our episode today, we're looking at something different on friendship. We're looking at this. A friend is the one who knows all about you and still loves you by Ebert Hubbard. The friend who truly loves you does not abandon you after knowing your true identity. So who is your friend? We are going to look at different aspects of friendship to help us buttress our understanding on this particular friendship code or except for my book, Who is Your Friend? Getting started, let's look at what friendship is. What is friendship? What is friendship? Friendship is simply a relationship of love. Friendship is the greatest atmosphere where true love is experienced. It is a place where the, the love of God emanates from one person to the other. You cannot claim to be in friendship when you have no love in your heart for others. As a matter of fact, friendship and love are inseparable. Friendship and love are inseparable. So how does the love of friendship look like? Or what is the love of friendship? The love of friendship. The love of friendship is a kind that keeps no record of wrongs. It magnifies strengths instead of flaws. It celebrates successes instead of failures. Without the love of friendship, none of us will have a best friend in our lives. If you have a friend who truly loves you, they would continue to love you despite your fears, feelings, failures, faults, or flaws. Your friend, as a matter of fact, is the one who will still find one reason to still stay close to you and keep you in their lives, even when he has a thousand reasons to move away from you. This is why God is our friend. In Romans chapter 5 verse 10, the Bible says this about God. For since we were restored to friendship with God by the death of his son, while we were still his enemies, we will certainly be delivered from eternal punishment by his life. Note that God brought us into friendship with himself, even while we were still his enemies. Even while we were still his enemies. He restored us into friendship with himself. So who is a friend? Who is a friend? A friend is the one whose relationship with you is not dependent on their current knowledge of you, circumstances, or changes in your life, but on the love of God and your true identity in Christ. In other words, a friend loves you the way God loves you and sees you the way God sees you. That is who really a friend is. Look at these few indicators about friendship and who really a true friend is. Let's look at these few keys. If your knowledge of people keeps you away from them, then you are not their friend. If what you hear or see about people keeps you away from them, then you are not their friend. If you only love your friends and stay close to them, when you see them progressing, then you are a fake friend. A true friend is the one who loves you beyond their current knowledge of you. A true friend is the one who believes in your future and helps you to become your best. Take a couple of seconds and then meditate on this case. Brothers, this is why Apostle Joshua Sermon says, Anyone you call a true friend should be someone whose commitment to you is not dependent on circumstances. Those who change towards you simply because they realize one or two unfavorable indicators in your life are not fit to be called your true friends. Friends, take time and discover who your true friends are. 
and as you do this make time also to know how best you could be a true friend to others love them genuinely unconditionally and sacrificially don't let something you know or hear about them keep you away from them if something you don't understand just open up to them if there is anything you are not okay with just make it known to them they are your friends after all hold your hands and then pray with them together remember it was while we were still enemies of god that he restored us into friendship with himself today we are no more god's enemies you've become his friends and i pray for you brothers that god will give you the grace to be a friend to someone this week and be a friend also to others you will receive the grace to be a true friend to others in the name of jesus once again brothers i'm reminding you of my book on who is your friend it's still available on amazon and i recommend that you get a copy of it and god will use it to enrich and bless your life i'm john atta the author of who is your friend to meet again next week god bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Amen.